friends my name is shohan and today i'm going to show you how you can deploy your first laravel 5 project on heroku heroku is one of the most popular online cloud platforms nowadays there are so much so many uh, cloud platforms are there such as google cloud or you can talk about microsoft azure i like heroku because it's easy to use and uh, it's most popular nowadays so to create an application in heroku you must have an account on Heroku. Uh, you should sign up and create an account. It's very easy. I have uh, an account, so I'm not going to show you that much. Uh, next, you must have Heroku Tool Belt installed in your machine. Uh, I'm using Windows, so I have already installed. You must install it. Uh, next, uh, to install uh, Laravel 5, you must have installed uh, composer on your machine uh, so let's get into that now firstly we have to install laravel 5 that is our main task so i will open up my command prompt then where i want to be installed laravel 5 i have to change my directory cd c Um, www because uh, I use web server for my development purpose here I want to be Laravel 5 installed via composer so if you want to install Laravel 5 via composer we have to type composer create project Laravel slash Laravel and the name of our project uh, as example i should give our project name laravel on heroku hit enter the installation will be started shortly so i'll have to wait a couple of minutes have a break i'll be back soon so we have laravel 5 installed on our machine let's check it out see one www laravel on heroku here we have installed laravel 5 okay let's see if it's working properly or not localhost web server home page laravel on heroku the public folder the public folder is the root directory of laravel 5 so the welcome screen have appeared so laravel 5 is working properly all right let's move on to the next step so now that laravel 5 has been installed on our machine and it's working properly we have to create a git repository on our project but before that we have some more works to do let's check that we have to delete some files and edit some files on our project here the dot environment dot example file we don't need it so we will delete it the next thing git ignore file we have to edit this here the dot env file the dot git ignore file defines that which file will be ignored by git we will need this environment file so we don't want it to be ignored by git let's remove the .env file and save it so the .git ignore file has been edited fine next we have to log into heroku so to login in heroku we have to type heroku login from our command prompt heroku will be Ask for my email. I will type mine. All right, the password. Okay, we have logged in. The next step will be we have to uh, create the Git repository. To create Git repository, we must change our directory to our project folder 
cd c one www Laravel on Heroku. All right, we are on our project folder. We have to initialize it. It in it. Git will be initialized. Uh, initialize empty Git repository in our project folder. Next, we have to add the folders to Git. Git add space dot. files have been added now every time we do something in git we have to commit so we will commit now git commit m laravel on heroku project initialized all right we have committed we can watch our git uh, status or our project status by typing git status oh, I'm sorry git status so nothing to commit working directly clean so we have no works to do now so we have to create a profile now for Heroku we know that Laravel's root directory is the public folder so we have to mention it to Heroku that our applications uh, root directory will be the public folder. So this is the main reason why we will be create the profile. So let's create our profile now. To create uh, the profile, we have to type echo web space uh, echo web vendor. slash bin slash heroku php apache 2 public so we are telling heroku that the public folder will be the root directory of our project profile hit enter so the profile will be created Let's see uh, here the profile has been created. We can see now we have to uh, add the profile and commit it in Git. We can see the Git status now. Here uh, Git is telling us that uh, a profile has been created. So Git add dot profile has been added. Now we have to commit git commit and uh, created the profile all right we have committed what we have changed now it's time to create the heroku application where we can push our project code to create a heroku application we have to type heroku create our application name so I'm tapping our Laravel Heroku app. So the application will be created. Now uh, the next step will be uh, we have to uh, set the build packs. So uh, we can see that uh, the application has been created. We have to uh, set our build packs. Uh, the build text means that uh, our application language will be PHP, right? Uh, Heroku supports many languages such as uh, Python, PHP, Ruby, Node.js. To clarify which language will be used in our project, we have to declare the build text. So let's do it now. Uh, we have to type Heroku build text. Build text set Heroku slash PHP. So we are telling Heroku that our application's language will be PHP. So we have uh, set our language PHP uh, via the build text. Now it's time to push our project in our Heroku application. To push the uh, project on Heroku, we have to type 
git push এরকম মাস্টার git push এরকম মাস্টার that's all we have to type hit enter the application will be pushed now it will take some time so everything is done uh, now we have to open our project uh, in order to open our project we have to type uh, heroku open hit enter uh, in a while the application that we have deployed in heroku will be appear so uh, the laravel welcome screen uh, we have deployed our first laravel 5 project on heroku congratulations uh, we can see that our laravel heroku app dot heroku app dot com hope that you have liked this tutorial and you have also successfully deployed your laravel 5 applications on heroku uh, thanks for watching and if you have any comments any suggestions or anything drop a comment below or you can contact me anytime here is my email address uh, shohan5917 at gmail.com uh, my blog is at www.shohan.net and here is my facebook account so uh, thanks for watching